Bayonet found an account paying 7.5% compounded continuously. How long would it take for $200 to become $1,000? Round your answers to two decimal places. Now, so we're using the continuously compounded interest formula for this problem. Another name for this formula that my students often use is the PERT formula. Now, looking at this problem, it seems that we know what the interest rate is, we know the principal, we know the amount. What we're trying to do is to find the time, to find t. So we're trying to find t when the interest rate is 0 0.075 the principal is $200 and the amount is $1,000. So we next plug in what we know to try to solve for what we don't know. We end up with the equation 1000 equals to 200 times e to the point 0.075t. Now with these exponential equations the next step to do is to get the exponential by itself. So we divide both sides by 200. Now you might notice in some ways the principal and the amount didn't um, really matter in this case. We could have used the principal was 100 and the amount was 500 or we could use the principal is 5,000 and the amount was uh, 25,000. All that r really matters in this case is that the amount was five times the initial principal amount. Now, now that we got the exponential by itself, we take the log of both sides. And again, we can use any logarithm we want, but let's use the natural log. Now, one of the reasons it's really nice to use the natural log in this case is because the natural log function and the natural log or natural exponential function are inverses of each other that we end up getting on the right side just 0 0.075t and on the left side we still have the natural log of 5. So the next step to do is to divide both sides by 0 0.075 and we end up getting t as approximately 21.46. So the final answer to this problem is that it would take about 21.46 years. And that is our final answer.